here. So I have the Bullets Wireless Z right here, and I am going to be doing my review on them. Let's get started. Now, before I actually get started with the actual review, I'm going to actually I'm going to actually be taking a look at the box of the Bullets Wireless Z. Now, um, obviously, the Bullets Wireless Z is already taken out, but I wanted to show you the box itself. So let's just take a look at the box. As you can see, the logo OnePlus right here, or, or the you know the text OnePlus right here. The logo is up here, and as you can see, has little icons that show how much battery life you get and things like that. But here's all the actual information. As you can see, it talks about the warp charge, and so 10 minutes of charging gives you 10 hours of listening time. And I'll talk about the battery life shortly. And uh, after you get also long battery life, so if you charge a little bit longer, then you get about 20 hours of battery life, which is, like, amazing. Then also you get magnetic control, and so basically with this, you just literally clip the bullets together and magnetically tur turn them off and separate them to turn on. So these actually have little magnets that I am going to be showing you. Um, and then also, this is waterproof, and it's IPX7 waterproof, I believe. So it's actually water resistant, but they say it's waterproof. Um, in my experience, um, in normal rain conditions, and just, you know, just in scenarios that you'll typically be in, if there's some sort of rain store, or if you're in the shower or something like that, it'll do completely fine. Um, there's also a quick sh switch, so you can switch between different devices, like, let's just say you want to switch between your OnePlus device and you want to switch between, you know, another device like your iPad or something like that. Well, then you could do that with that. Um, and then there's also low latency mode, which, uh, that actually only works with OnePlus Fanatic mode. So, it only works when you're actually gaming, but what that basically means is that you'll, you know, the transmission between the phone and the uh, the Bullets Wireless Z will be, you know, very, very short, and so you won't have any delays, basically. But there's a f a barely any delays even when you don't have low latency mode, you know, turned on. Up the box here, as you can see, it gives a very nice presentation. You can see this is where the headphones would be. Let's open that up. And, um... There's usually something up here. I believe I did put in the box, though. And in the box, you just have some accessories. Um, I'm not going to be taking them out right now. But there's just some accessories like the manual, things like that. But I don't want to go too you know, far into that. I want to mostly go into the review. So here are the actual Bullets Wireless Z. And um, this is ma mostly made out of a plastic material. And this actually feels very good. It feels uh, very rubbery and at the top, and then more, you know, hard plastic at the bottom. Very good build quality. doesn't feel like it's going to snap in your hands, like if you try to, you know, fiddle around with it. Um, and uh, I want to show you the magnetics right here. Now, I can't really show it to you too clearly because I don't have the best camera recording with me since my main phone I'm not recording with because I'm going to show you the Bullets Wireless Z, but... Basically, these magnets, um, you could open them like this, and here is the magnetics. As you can see, it, it actually stays on. It's like not going to, you know, move around too much in your pocket. Um, so it's not going to just open randomly. It, it, you know, you need some force to do it. So that actually makes it feel more premium, and I really do, you know, uh, like this magnetism. Okay, let's take a look around the device and as you can see you got the USB-C port. You can't really see it too well because once again I'm not filming with my main camera and then you also got the OnePlus logo right there and then um, yeah also a plastic material and I really like this silicone uh, rubber ear tips. These are probably one of the nicest feeling uh, ear tips because they're they have a very they have a very nice build material and lots of people say that so my opinion they fit completely well and um, yeah also I forgot to mention that there's also a volume rocker right here 
And you also have this little button to pause and play your songs. Basically it of the actual earbuds and design themselves. Let's connect them to my OnePlus device. So all you need to do is open up this and we're going to go to the control center. We don't need to do anything but I do want to show you once you open them they will, as you can see, show the battery right there and say OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. And then once you close them, as you can see, open them, close, and you can see fully works. So, um, yeah, let's open these up and I'll tell you how they sound. Well, I can't really show you what they sound like, but I will be playing a YouTube video, but what I'm saying is that basically they sound very, very good, and the noise reduction, or the noise cancellation, some people like to call it noise cancellation, some people like to call it noise reduction, is very, very good. You can't really hear any of your outside uh, surroundings. It's not full-on noise cancellation, but it is definitely very good. This is only 50 bucks, and I'll actually leave... Uh, you know, the link to get these on the OnePlus website. Uh, it is very, very good and for the price, and the audio quality is also very good on here. Usually, uh, there's a lot of bass. Now, I really like bass. Some people don't, but, um, in my opinion, I really like the bass on here. Um, it's just that there's a lot more bass than usual headphones. Um... And in my opinion, it makes it sound louder. That's just me. Um, but, yeah. So, when playing a video, you can hear it at, like, full volume. Like, if you're just if you're just taking them out like this. You could hear them a little bit farther away. But if you turn down, down it, then you won't be able to, you know, hear it. Like, if you turn it down to here, then it's pretty hard to actually hear what, you know from the outside. I mean, I bet you could still hear them if you put them really close. And, uh, yeah. But overall, the the sound quality is very, very good. And, uh, yeah. Now, um, lastly, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about battery. And so, the awesome thing about this is this actually supports quick charge. So, or, you know, warp charge 30. And, um, it actually... You could charge it in 10 minutes and get 10 hours of battery life. Now, I've only charged this about two times or three times. I've never actually had it die yet, like fully. I've got it down to, I think, 40%, and that's the lowest I think I've ever gotten it to. Um, this lasts almost forever for me. Like, seriously, I use this about an hour every day, and it, or maybe even two hours every day still is completely fine, never actually really drains the battery and is very very good on a full charge and even with 10 minutes of charging you can literally you know get 10 hours of battery life and uh, overall the battery life is amazing now if you use a regular charge it's gonna take a little bit longer maybe like an hour to charge fully or something like that I haven't actually tested it with a regular like 5 watt charger or 10 watt charger but with the 30 watt warp charge it is very very fast charging and overall it has a very very good battery life oh so anyways guys that was the bullets wireless Z and overall um, in my opinion I would give it if I if there was a rating I would give it a 9 out of 10 the only thing that I don't particularly like I would say is that some people might not like that there's too much you know there's a lot of bass um, and besides that, this is probably the best you can really get for 50 bucks. I mean, there's not really anything better. Now, um, what I do recommend you guys getting, if you have a little bit more money to spend, is the Bullets Wireless 2. Um, now, that has a lot better sound quality. However, that does cost 100 bucks. But I definitely do recommend getting that if you have a little bit more money to spend. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I will be almost fully switching over to this YouTube channel. Um, like all my subscribe, you know, all the people I subscribe to and stuff like that. So um, I fully, you know, could always answer to notifications basically instantly, you know, with, 
you know, if someone's replying to one of my videos, then I can reply to them instantly because I already, you know, have it, you know, that's my main YouTube channel then. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, more videos coming soon. Um, I will be doing a three-month, almost four-month review, to be honest, of the um, OnePlus 7 Pro, even though I'll say, you know, three months later because, you know, it's more accurate, I would say. Um, but, uh, yeah, really, really like these earphones. See you guys later.